Two nations go to war. Will victory go to the Trump supporters or the Swedes? Will the website Reddit ever be the same again? Are Swiss army knives actually made in Sweden? I'm not sure. I'll have to Google that later. Good evening, Internet. I'm Jack Crumb, and this is Clickbait. Often referred to as the front page of the internet, the website Reddit is made up of thousands of communities called subreddits. The communities are typically formed around some kind of theme or topic. There are subreddits dedicated to video games, different sports teams, genres of music, there's even a subreddit dedicated entirely to cute baby goats. <laughs> These subreddits are communities built around sharing pictures, videos, and discussions that have to do with their subreddit's subject matter. If a community likes something that was posted, they can upvote that post, which causes more people to see it. If a post gets enough upvotes within that community, it may appear on our all. A community of communities that all subreddits can see and is considered to be Reddit's main stage, so to speak. Within the past year, there's been one subreddit that has started to frequently appear on Reddit's main stage, R. The Donald. While not as popular as its rival subreddit, R. Sanders for President, The Donald is a community of over 100,000 Trump supporters, roughly the size of a large city. They've grown to be, unsurprisingly, a very polarizing subreddit and frequently appear on Reddit's main stage with many jokes and memes mocking Trump's political opponents or just political correctness in general. Many Redditors have become frustrated by The Donald, especially since any engagements with the community have felt similar to arguing with Trump himself. Any anti-Trump comments made on the Donald are often met with personal attacks or being banned from the subreddit. Because of the community's popularity, much of Reddit has been forced to tolerate the Donald. That is until roughly a week ago, when a full-on assault originated from an unlikely place. It all began with, in typical Trump fashion, a dick joke. While discussing Sweden welcoming Muslim immigrants, someone from The Donald drew on top of a map and submitted the picture with the title, Swedistan is literally a limp dick. The subreddit R Sweden, a community roughly the same size as the Donald, caught wind of the picture and posted their own picture in response. A map that had been edited to suggest America was having sex with Canada. Classy stuff. Little did anyone know, this cartography pornography would start one of the largest subreddit wars in recent memory. Several members of the Donald did not enjoy Sweden's joke and began to leave insulting comments on Sweden's image. This proved to backfire as what had been a playful response evolved into a targeted assault on the Donald. Soon after the first image was posted, several others started to appear, each post receiving a huge amount of upvotes from our Sweden. Soon enough, our all was flooded with images and jokes all targeting and making fun of not just the Donald, but extreme American nationalism as well. After the post appeared on Our All, they began to receive even more upvotes from all the people that the Donald had angered in the past, with some Redditors even downvoting any retaliation from the Donald. Thousands of Redditors were flooding Our Sweden, either to lend their support, to leave a nasty comment, or just trying to figure out what the hell was going on. The war grew so large that it even spilled over into Twitter when the creator of Minecraft tweeted about how proud he was of his home country's subreddit. Eventually though, as in any war, both sides would soon take casualties. Furious that the rest of Reddit was downvoting any retaliation they threw at Sweden, a mod of the Donald made a post about how they would be making a change to their rules in order to properly educate Sweden. The Donald, like their favorite candidate, is extremely anti-Islam, but had to still enforce the site-wide rules of Reddit on no racism. That is until a mod made a post stating that they would no longer enforce the no racism rule in an effort to show Sweden the dangers of Muslims. This post was met with quite a bit of controversy, even within the Donald. The post was soon deleted, but not before being seen by a large part of Reddit. If the Donald had continued encouraging racism, it may have resulted in the deletion of the entire community. And while the Donald suffered most of the embarrassment in this ordeal, our Sweden managed to take a few self-inflicted lumps as well. The, uh, hold on. Directed towards the Donald, continued for almost a whole day, and towards the end of the dispute, the joke started turning a little mean, reaching a crescendo when someone created an image of Sweden destroying the World Trade Center with an IKEA. The mods of our Sweden eventually locked down the subreddit for the night, preventing anyone from submitting any content for several hours in an effort to cool everyone down and bring an end to the conflict. Now being referred to as the Borkening, this is one of the larger internet wars seen in quite some time. Stranger still, it happened between two communities who have little to do with each other. With the presidential election not even fully underway yet, it's curious to see what else may be in store for Reddit's online communities.